they said they, they didn't have a great meter for doing this type of measurement. And these meters are expensive. I wouldn't expect somebody from the public to get buy one of these meters. So we looked at that little rock pile um, back in 1997 because these things come around and go around. And it's the you know, same rock from the same formation. And the Florida Department of Health Bureau of Radiation Control did the survey and they got a, about 0.55 uh, microsieverts per hour, which is about um, five bananas, five bananas an hour. Um, estimated a child that would visit frequently, and they, they estimated based on like weekly visits by a child that gave the pile, would get less than 1% of the public dose limit. So this is how people are exposed to radioactivity and radiation. So it's in the soil, um, if you have a backyard garden, um, you, some of those plants could take up some material and you can ingest that or inhalation from radon buildup in your home that John talked about, um, and then just direct the radiation from the soil, which when you're in your house, you have some shielding from that. So we've seen, in terms of external radiation, the reclaimed lands are low compared to the rest of the country. Uh, if you look at the Hardy Lakes Park Pebble Driveway and the Mulberry Rock, they're higher than background soil, but they're not too high. So about three to four banana units when measured by some people with the right equipment. Dust inhalation. So this was a question, now we're going to deal with that one. Um, the alpha emitters will give you most of the dose. And it's not that you're inhaling the alpha particles. That's just a helium nucleus. So it's just like inhaling helium. It's the alpha emitter. You've got to get the material that's pushing out the alpha particles into your system. When alpha emitters are inside of your body, then you've bypassed your external shield. They might be close to something like DNA that you don't want them to hit, and they carry a pretty big punch over a short distance. So that's when you say, well, I, I think somebody you had in front of you at a previous meeting said it was 10 times worse. Uh, no, it's 20 times worse. So you can help them out some there. But you're not getting very much into your system. And that's what John was talking about. You know, we do that type of assessment. You can't do it with one of these meters. Um, you have to take air samples, and you need a particle size distribution. You need to study solubility of the particles in lung fluid. I've actually done this. And then you have to see how that gets into the bloodstream and where it will distribute into different organs and then the body clears it. It's complicated, so you can't just walk around with a meter and figure all that out. So I've done these calculations. You cannot breathe enough dust out there to get a significant dose. Don't worry about it. Ingestion is the same type of deal. It gets complicated. Not quite as complicated as inhalation, but still complicated. Um, we study pretty much every food crop and animal that you could farm or ranch on this type of land, and you don't get very much dose if you take all of your diet from that, so a couple of percent to your natural dose. So it boils down to, like John said, radon is usually the biggest dose contributor. So that's one that we should just take a little extra look at. Um, this is from Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. They looked at the entire U.S. Uh, radon levels. They, they didn't care about phosphate mining, so they were pretty objective. Florida, again, if you look at the top um, scale, is a low radon state. And you'll see the influence of the, the uh, northwestern deposit there on the radon levels. So we are a low radon state. You still, if you're, you've got a concern, you should test your house. And you can get a kit to test your house um, at a lot of stores. Uh, the home stores will, will sell those, or you can order them online. So if you're looking at radiation and health, um, our end point of concern when we're exposed to radiation is the possibility of getting some form of cancer. And 
there are a lot of other car